Okay guys, welcome back. It's been a while I not to do my chemistry video. Now guys, today I'm really like to introduce one of the apps that I have recently downloaded from the uh one of the apps uh from the App Store. You can download it. The apps is actually called as the Pet P H E T. Whereby in this particular uh the apps i've noticed a lot of interactive interactive experiment they can whereby we can play around with these apps so today i'm going to teach a simple stuff on the topic of a acid and base solution by using this particular apps the pets apps the p h e t s so i will start with the acid base solution for the introduction part this is quite interesting before you really watch this movie you must have a basic understanding what i mean by acid base remember acid is according to arrhenius is a substance that will ionize in water to form hydroxonium ion or some uh, it is a h3o plus or sometimes they call it as a h plus on other type uh, on the other hand we are talking about the base or the alkaline is again is a substance that ionize in water to form hydroxide ion which is the oh minus so it can be concluded if i say acid and a base it is a substance that do have a free moving ion please keep that in the mind Therefore, this a free moving ion, the H plus and also OH minus, play a significant roles in our, uh, I would say, the characteristic of the acid and base. So that is what I'm gonna look at today in this particular video. I'm gonna show you the how can the acid and the base will change the properties of the uh, system accordingly. What are the parameters that I'm going to discuss today will be. Of course, I will discuss about using the pH meter, okay? And I will change the pH meter later on by using the universal indicator. And on top of that, after this, I might use the, the electrical conductivity behavior to show how, how significant is the water play the roles in the acid and base. So, without further ado, of course, I have a different solution play around. As you can see, I, I see in the screen, I can change the solution from water, strong acid, a weak acid, a strong base, and of course, a weak base accordingly. So, we will start with the water. Please keep in mind again, when I say water, we always know it has the pH value of equivalent to 7. By using this pH meter, a pH meter, this is referring to the pH meter, when I immerse the pH meter into the solution, it will give a pH value of a 7. This indicates a pH of a neutral solution. A pH uh, of the 7. So, as you can see, why it do have a pH of a 7? That's the main question. Remember, water is a solution or sometimes they call it as an amphoteric solution. Amphoteric solution. What do I mean by an amphoteric solution? That is actually referred to the concentration of the hydrogen ion and also an hydroxide ion in the solution are the same so they have equal amount of the hydrogen ion and as well as the hydroxide ion in that h2o therefore i can say when they have the same amount of the ion concentration therefore they have a limited i would say equivalent number the red part over here as you can see the red part in the screen is actually uh, referred to the hydroxide and of course the blue part is actually referred to the the uh, well, hey, red part is a hydrogen ion and the blue part is a hydroxide ion so by removing this guys i change into the a uh, strong acid 
ideally ideally as you can see a strong acid by according to the Arrhenius is well dissociated fully it will dissociate it fully to the cation and an ion therefore as you can see in this particular diagram in this particular diagram of course you notice you have a high amount of the red portions over the uh, blue portion the light blue portion this indicate it have a high concentration of the H plus therefore when you have a high concentration of H plus a basic skill a basic skill as you know the higher the concentration of the H plus the lower the pH value so when you must in the then you get the pH value of a 2 and let's say guys I change this part uh, to a weak acid you can see in this particular diagram I have a limited number of the red portions over the black color and the gray color as well as the blue color this indicate this indicate it have only a limited amount of the hydrogen ion whereby whereby when you have a limited amount of the hydrogen ion this indicate it do have the small number of hydrogen ion they form uh, lower the higher hydrogen ion concentration the higher the ph value will this right or not let's check with the ph meter when i merge the ph meter yes it do give a higher value of the ph value compared to the previous strong acid and of course yeah guys when i change the solution to the a strong base now you can see you notice a lot of the blue portions over the yellow color the blue actually indicate the hydroxide ions hydroxide ion it have as we know a strong alkaline or the base will fully ionize to form its individual n ion which is the hydroxide ion again when i have the, this hydroxide ion a lot of a hydroxide ion i merge the ph meter into the solution as you can see it do give a high value of the ph uh ph scale in the ph scale so that's the one thing that you need to know so let's move on to the i change the solution uh, to a weak base as we expected it have a smaller portion of the blue color over the other the ion the molecules over here because the weak base only dissociated partially as compared to the other elements uh, as compared to strong uh, uh, base so again it do have a small amount of a hydroxide ion therefore our hypothesis when you have a small amount of a hydroxide ion which is a weak base it gonna give a lower p ph value remember for base and acid is quite vice versa acid the higher the hydroxide ion the lower the ph value for hydroxide oh minus the higher the hydroxide concentration it going to have a higher ph value please take note of this so to prove this hypothesis at the theory i merge the ph meter into the solution yes you go you go you get a much lower ph value as compared to the strong base what we have done so guys this is a bit of the theory about the using the acid to differentiate to differentiate the amount of ion that presence in the solutions for a water a neutral solution strong acid we have a water strong acid then we do have a weak acid we change it to a strong base and finally we do change to the a weak base so guys take the opportunity to download this app and play around so stay tuned for my second video i'm gonna discuss by using the same apps using for the universal indicator and my last video we're going to discuss the conductivity behavior of the solution that interrelated with the free moving ion stay tuned and get your video to upload and please do subscribe to my video and share my video and turn on notifications and like the video thank you so much to support me dr hussein anibal